What's up, guys? What's up? All right, let's get right to the point. You got computer stuff, right? You got your extension cables. You got your motherboard. You got your i5-9600K. You got your graphics card. You got your, your two sticks of RAM. You're ready to go. You know, and you went out and you bought your hard drive. You got your hard drive. And then you're like, man, I need a CPU cooler. So you went out and got a CPU cooler. And then you're like, oh, sh I need a power supply. So you bought yourself a power supply. Now, you got all of your stuff together. And you're like, oh, I don't have a case. Crap. I don't have a case and I'm out of money. What do I do? Idea. You get a box, cardboard, and you make yourself a computer case. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to take all of this and turn it into a computer case using a box. But, y'all know me, I'm going to have to add my twist to it. And we're probably even going to water cool it. I don't know yet. I got to see how, what, it's all about the integrity of the box. I got a pretty solid cardboard box that I'm going to cut up and stuff. You know, and then we got spare boxes and stuff too, you know. It doesn't take much. You just need a couple of things. A couple of boxes. Cut them up. Glue them together. We got the hot glue gun. I got scissors. I got tape. I got this. Um just in case and we got extra glue and spray paint black because I don't like the color of the box so we're going to spray paint it all right let's get right down to it guys make sure to hit that like subscribe anyway make sure to hit that like let's do this just set a motherboard in here I mean you could you set the motherboard you can set the whole stupid computer in here and just carry it but then again you know it may not get very cool but I want it to where all you have is a box and you have your fans and everything set up all bringing in air and then you all you have is just like a power cord running out of the box so I want to build a cardboard computer case and I was even thinking about maybe running it this way, like up and down style. I thought maybe that would look cooler if we ran it up and down style. So that's kind of what we're going to do. I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to do it on a time lapse. So it's going to be fast. Just and then I'll show you all the final product. So let's do this.
right, all right, all right. You guys liked it? So you see, you can build something cool even without a case. I mean, I did this out of a box. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't water cool it. I just, I didn't really have the time and I didn't have the, I just didn't have the time. So I couldn't do all that. But I did successfully come out with a, a good looking water cooling. And of course, I went with Christmas colors because, well, we're getting into Christmas. And you can adjust it. I can change all that orange and stuff. I can change that to green or blue. I can match it all. Um, basically, I just I just got the colors running however they want to right now. Um, but yeah, you can sync all those colors and turn them all green or all blue or whichever you want. Um, I like how it came out. Nice and nice and clean looking. Honestly, I like the uh, I like the carbon fiber look on these PNY PNY. Um, SSDs works great the power supply you know it's it's just chilling here let me turn the light on for you guys you know it's just sitting there it has plenty of room to breathe now I thought about flipping the power supply and having the fan on the other end but I thought it would look cooler that way and besides there's nothing on the other end and it can breathe through that way and you know whatever I did make a cover for it um, the hole is cut out right over the top, but I ran out of uh, black spray paint, so only like half of it's done. On the other side, I spray painted it silver to help reflect back the light, but I didn't get to finish that in time, and I don't really think y'all care for a cover. Uh, got a 140 millimeter fan on top. Uh, basically, all of the fans are bringing air in and down. That's just the way I configured it. You can configure it however. Over here, I have the I.O. cut out so you can put your whatever in here. And then you can just kind of close it up so that way nothing gets into it while you're transporting. On the back side here, I just kind of uh, did what I could, cable management as I could. I mean, I can go back through and retie it up. I went with these extra long bolts through the motherboard. The reason for that is so when I set the box down, um, these will help kind of hold it up, keeping me from crushing the wires or any of that kind of stuff. Because I have some adapters, and you know, you just you just don't want to put the weight of the box on the back and and crush it. Um, the fans aren't exactly completely straight. But I did the best I could and tried to make them as even. This was really just like a one day build. Um, not bad. That's, uh, if you were wondering, I think I told you guys what that is. That's a 1050 Ti 4 gig card. The reason why I went with that card, if you notice, there's nothing holding this graphics card up. So if I was to put like a big one in there, um, it would probably put a lot of weight on that. And I don't want to break nothing. Plus, when you're transporting it, if you have a big heavy graphics card in there, you would probably have to take the graphics card out so it wouldn't break off. Um, so I went with this light one. It's a 1050 Ti. This isn't really meant to game and stuff. You can game on it. It has a, an i5 in it. Uh, plenty of storage, plenty of RAM. Each one of those sticks is 8 gigs, so you got 16 gigs. I believe it's 2666, which is the fastest that RAM will go I think it can, maybe I can push it to three I don't remember I didn't look at exactly what it is our new power supply by Apiva it works great didn't have no problems I actually thought about changing out the fan to it but I was like no nah, I ain't gonna do all that but anyway um, even with this here you know I got to I don't know I don't know what to do but also if you notice I didn't cut out nothing for it you see that I only cut out the I.O. for here, so I still have to cut um, a square down in there so I can get to the HDMI ports and stuff in it. But I hope you guys like it. Please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, let me know below in the comments. Other than that, make sure to smash a like. Share this on Facebook. Help me out, guys. I appreciate y'all. And watch it over and over. Watch the video a thousand times for me. No, I'm just playing. All right, guys. I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much.
I hope you all liked it. I had a lot of fun building it. It looks cool. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Real quick. You want to see what it looks like. Maybe if I was to lay it down. Like that. See? That's what it looks like. Laying down. It still looks cool. You know. A PC in a box. Box PC. Cardboard gaming PC. Whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to call it. Cardboard gaming PC. <laughs> it looks cool though. Alright guys. Thank y'all so much. I'm out. Y'all have a good one.